Hi, this is Miles Maria, the Soldier of Mary. Today I'm going to look over questions and answers issued by the Order of Grace Mercy on the channel Misericordia Maria TV. They have produced a few Q&A videos in which they answer about some questions regarding their religion. And I'm going to just listen to their questions and answers and give a voiceover. What I've done is actually this video from them is about half an hour long. But actually, there's so much silence in between. And because there's a girl translating it from Spanish to English and at one point Portuguese to English, the whole thing takes a lot longer than it ought to. So I've cut out all of the Spanish and the Portuguese. It's just the English. And I'm going to do a voiceover analyzing their answers to certain questions and exposing the secret new age agenda and not so secret so let's begin the video dear brothers and sisters we greet you all we are here gathered the visionaries of the grace mercy order and part of the council of permanent regency and council of this work so basically the council the seems to be this region. guy on the far left Yesterday he seems morning, to be he's not a visionary but he's clearly some kind of authority in the group to our web pages this is how as from today we will begin carrying um filming some videos so this is the first of three videos that they've that produced come to our web pages the visionaries in the council will be here willing to respond the questions like i said the council it's just that extra guy because the other three are visionaries this first time we will respond some general questions we, we may begin with the questions mother what link do you have with the catholic church this is an interesting one right catholic? What are she was baptized as a catholic. Not catholic they all were when the Virgin Mary asked the visionaries for the formation So this of is the, the mother Mercy speaking. Order, this is a translation. Why she didn't appear in the core of the Catholic Church? The Virgin Mary answered that in this time that the world is going through, the Sacred Hearts would appear to visionaries outside of the church okay. to rescue those who okay. do not belong to Christianity. What by bringing them to Christianity? From it because they no longer trust by bringing them to the Catholic faith. We have just obeyed what the Virgin asked us. So in our web the, pages, the we Virgin has appeared to people to outside of the Catholic Church, religion. but not to invite them to it. Could I ask Weird. Elias a question, Friar? Who is the mother of the divine conception of the That's Trinity? an unusual title, right? It divine is an conception. The Virgin Mary carried out to this group of visionaries on August 8, 2007, in the north of the state of the Holy Christ Trinity isn't Europe. conceived. The mother of the divine conception of the Trinity is not an advocation of this group. It is an aspect and a revelation Again, they keep the repeating this, that, that it, this is a get out clause. They say the Virgin Mary told them for everything. The divine conception of Mary refers to her state of purity Sure, and her conception, we all believe in that. Yeah, but that wasn't what we were asking in the question, the brother. We wanted to know about the divine conception of the Trinity. In this event, not about the divine conception, not about the immaculate angel, conception of the Our Lady. Of her spiritual state so he's not answered the question. Of her divine conception that she was divine conception we don't call her divine conception no though sin. this is why she's uh, yeah she's immaculate at the same time her conception is divine because it comes from god and that her divine conception is united to the most holy okay truth, to the father the son and the holy it's all Spirit, about distinguishing that terms the virgin is pure and full of grace and, and her, her soul, soul belongs, belongs to the, the triune consciousness, consciousness. Prior. That's a weird what concept. Triune consciousness, new because age our alert. Us to pray it. Again, to Our Lady pray asks them to pray the Rosary, of course. And, also to teach it to our and, and it makes them appear Catholic. As a spiritual exercise to pray for peace in, in humanity, humanity and, and the, in whole the whole world. world. It makes them appear Since Catholic. Since we have begun to pray the Rosary, we have learned that through it we are protected and united from our hearts to the Immaculate. Again, heart it of sounds Mary. Catholic. Well, I would like to ask okay, Sister Lucia over to Sister Lucia. What do you think this is an interesting one. Like those of Guadalupe, Fatima, Lord, and again, this is a classic answer Garibaldo. from a New Age what do group. You think about them? We believe that these apparitions that you have just mentioned are, now all, true, are all true, even though they say completely personal, different things. But because the Virgin Mary herself She's has spoken about, about them. them. 
and she has even requested us to visit but she hasn't requested you to become members of the catholic the church and to, to live according to the gifts. teachings of the catholic that church she has left who is she places. Each apparition of the Virgin Mary in these places, yeah, they're they different. are so different among themselves. But the ones you mentioned, they are within the Catholic Church. And of even Medjugorje, it's not back. calling people to apostasy. Sister, and why do you wear a habit? Since the Virgin Mary asked us for the foundation of our order, Again, she notice asked us the to answer. Wear Virgin Mary the asked of the them. different vows that we assume before God when we consecrate our lives. And throughout years, our habits gradually changed for explicit yeah, the habits have changed. of the divinity. Each detail the divinity, of our garments you was see, our lady, by the most holy it's the Virgin Mary they're referring to purpose. as the divinity. And we believe they gradually changed it because we also gradually they. changed, becoming more mature and being able to assume more profound vows with God. For example, this habit that the mothers and sisters of our order wear was requested by the Virgin Mary, representing a more profound vow of selfless service, and also our yes to embrace In what the way? sorrows of the like world. It's got that white sash on it. Helping the Divine Mother to bear and transform these sorrows. Is she going to tell us how? Happens in our day to day. Because she's got that white sash on. In our daily prayers. That looks slightly like the uh, above all like spiritual. that guy in Tibet. Thus. The habit is not representing a religion. Of course. It exists first to remind each one of us about because the vows we have assumed Because they're not part of the Catholic before, faith, they've been excommunicated. And then to let the world know all those who see In England we have the Hare the Krishna cult that wears a kind of habit. Our lives. I would like to ask some now, more this questions is a, to Friar Elise. This is one which is... Friar. You, you know, answered with a bit of a mental re reservation, I think. That Jesus is God. Of course. Yes, we do believe. Of course he says this. It is the basis of our faith, but what does he mean by God? What does he mean by Trinity? Service. There is no other reason for our spiritual path. Our spiritual yes, path. Yes, we do believe that Jesus is God. Because he taught us through his gospel that comes from the Father. And the Father acts through his firstborn son. That is... Christ comes the kingdom, from the kingdom of, of the, the heavens. heavens, and he's the second person. The kingdom of the, the heavens. Note that term. It's a kind of Mormonistic view of of it is an act of people of in space. That we live in our lives through our surrender to Christ, and by means of the experience of the sacraments of a healthy the sacraments. And life, although you're not a priest, according the to the Catholic the Church's teaching, by selfless service. Another question to Mother Shimani. Shimini, Mother, weird name. When you say you are ecumenical and Christian, what do you mean by that? We are Christians because we believe in the teachings of Christ Jesus and try to live them day by day. He is our Master and Lord. We consider ecumenism to be the path towards unity. This is among such all modernism. Unity, unity comes prayer, through entering the Catholic Church, the one church our Lord dialogue. founded. Through this dialogue, we can succeed in fulfilling the will of Christ that all of his disciples How? will become one. What, in one particular church? Mother, a last question. Why do you talk about Pope Francis? In reality, the ones who speak about the Holy Father the are the sacred, sacred hearts. hearts themselves. During their apparitions, their apparitions they use that Since strange Pope name. Francis was elected as a Pope, in many we don't believe the that the Virgin Mary well is, Jesus we don't talk about the Immaculate Heart speaking, the or the Sacred Heart speaking. The Holy Father carries out and the Do they think Pope Francis is going to get on with their message the and join their kind of New Age religion? The I don't know. As we have also Even Pope Francis wouldn't go that far. For more than Again, this is another thing Father. that's going to make them kind of seem vaguely linked to the Catholic faith, as if they're supporters of the Catholic faith, and that it's possible to go along with them and still kind of be all for the Pope and all for the Catholic Church. You see, the, the front that they present is very clever. They're very clever in that they want to say, oh, we're outside the Catholic Church, but Our Lady wants us outside the Catholic Church so we can draw people to Christ. 
But what, without the Catholic Church? Are we praying the rosary because Our Lady has told us to do that? We pray for the Holy Father because Our Lady has told us that. We go to the other apparition sites and we believe them because Our Lady has told us to believe in them. Who is this Our Lady that they believe in? They talk about her being divine. They talk about her heart as speaking to them, the divine hearts. This, I think that... I think that the lady they're talking to, well, we can be certain this is not our blessed mother. This is, if it is a real being, it is most certainly a demon. Stay away from this group. I'll be answering, I'll be looking at more of their questions and answer sessions in future videos. If this one proves to be popular, if people are interested in seeing an analysis of their messages. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.